Hello everyone, welcome to Guide My Career. This is Shiva from Department of Meteorology and Oceanography, Andhra University. Uh, today I'm going to explain about the vertical structure of the atmosphere. As we already know what is the vertical structure of the atmosphere and what is atmosphere, how many layers we have, as we already studied in our, in our uh, earlier classes. Uh, because why again we have to study? Because in our earlier classes we studied only about uh, what is atmosphere, what are these all layers, uh, but we won't go in detail. But this is a time to go in detail about each and every vertical layer of the atmosphere. Okay. And before going to that, we will see uh, why do we will see first ones. Uh, why do we call all these like all these uh, layers as a spheres like a tropo, strato, meso? Because uh, oh, the whole atmosphere, as we know, whole atmosphere which is enveloping the earth like a blanket. So as basically earth is almost nearly in the shape of a sphere. If we go in detail, it's, uh, it's uh, perfectly a blade spheroid. But uh, something is envelope, something is enveloping the uh, uh, earth, uh, which is in shape of a sphere. Then automatically, those who and those which enveloping the earth also be in a shape of spheres. That's why we is it, we call those layers as a troposphere, stratosphere, because they those also uh, in a shape of sphere. Okay, and first we will see. Uh, the first layer that's troposphere okay I, I just mentioned few details about uh, troposphere and trophophores but uh, I don't want to go in detail about each and every point in troposphere and trophophores but I want to go uh, in detail about some points which people or beginners may not know okay if you see the troposphere can be divided into three layers those are lower troposphere, middle troposphere and upper troposphere. If you see the lower troposphere which extends up to 2.1 km, similarly middle troposphere 2.1 to 7.6 km and upper troposphere above 7.6 to rest of the plot of troposphere. Okay, these are all about the layering of troposphere. And if you see the average height, the average height of the troposphere is 13 km. And uh, the height of the troposphere is decreasing from pole to equator. How how is it decreasing? Uh, at a pose, the height of a troposphere is eight kilometers, and at the equator, it extends from sixteen to eighteen kilometers. And uh, the thickness of the troposphere uh, is also decreasing from pole to equator, from uh, day to night and summer to winter. How see uh, the thickness of the troposphere is thicker means very high in summer during day at the equator. Similarly. In, uh, which is very thinner in thickness in winter during night at a poles because uh, to understand this I can say one thing uh, that uh, the temper uh, sorry the thickness of the troposphere or else uh, height of the troposphere always depends upon the temperature okay when you have a higher temperature then automatically you have you can see the thicker troposphere as a troposphere which has a very high very very high, high height okay when you when you can see the higher temperatures in summer during day at the equator only right that's why in summer during day at the equator you can see thicker troposphere or the troposphere which has a very high height okay similarly in winter during night at poles you can see the lower temperature that's why the height of the troposphere will get decrease and also which is in thinner in thickness okay this is all about the thickness and 80% uh, of the atmosphere you can see in a troposphere. For suppose if you want to study in detail about the vertical structure of the atmosphere, we, you have to study more about the troposphere when compared to the rest of the all spheres. Okay, rest of the all spheres or layers. Okay, because why? Almost all 80% of the atmosphere can exist in troposphere. Means whatever phenomena uh, which we are seeing from day to day, in atmosphere those 80 percent those phenomena we can see in troposphere so in that in order to understand those all phenomena like thunderstorms and cyclones and convective activities all those to understand them you have to study more about the troposphere when compared to the rest of uh, layers okay and what is the lapse rate lapse rate is nothing but a rate uh, with, at which the temperature uh, decreases with increasing height First of all, to understand it, I will say an example. First of all, if you are at the ground with one substance which has 30 degrees temperature, if you go up uh, to one kilometer, 
the temperature uh, the temperature of the substance which you hold uh, gets decreasing uh, decreased up to uh, decreased to uh, 23.5 because why you have traveled 1 km as we mentioned just now i, I mentioned in this uh, slide the lab state in the troposphere is 6.5 degrees for a kilometer because you have traveled 1 km then you have to uh, reduce 6.5 degrees uh, Celsius from the 30 degrees Celsius, then 23.5 degrees Celsius of your substance which you hold. So these, uh, if these, if the temperature falls in this fashion uh, uh, with respect to height, that comes under the lab state. Okay. And the next point, the major gases. Most of you would know what are the major gases in the troposphere, right? Nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21%, organ 1%, and carbon dioxide. 0.03 percent okay and another point uh, to know uh, it's very interesting decreasing temperature with increasing height some of uh, beginners may not know why is it so okay As, uh, most of the students who uh, are uh, studying about atmospheric uh, physics atmospheric physics they might know but some of beginners uh, might not know why is it so okay decreasing temperature with increasing height is due to the ground read radiates and heats the overlying atmosphere what it is exactly see uh, when the incoming solar radiation which is coming from the sun which first reaches the atmosphere okay and then ground and then liquid means we have a three state of matters three states of matter like a solid liquid uh, gas so the light which is coming from the sun first reaches the gas and then uh, uh, solid and liquid but even the sun uh, the light which touches the which receives the which uh, strike the gases the gas or whatever atmosphere we have uh, above the ground it can't become as a warm because it can't uh, get heat uh, that much quickly when compared to the solid and liquid so because of the property of the specific heat of uh, gas, liquid, solid, solid will get uh, heated very quickly uh, because of the molecular arrangement in that. So, because of the molecular arrangement in a solid, because the specific heat of that, uh, the specific heat, specific heat of the solid, it gets uh, heated very quickly. Okay. So, what's happening? Uh, uh, quick heating of the uh, solid, it starts re radiating. When it starts re-radiating the heat energy, it uh, heats the overlying atmospheric column of the solid. Okay. So, uh, when it starts re-radiating the whole atmosphere, which is overlying the ground, then uh, starts warming. So, that's why you can see uh, such type of, uh, you can see in an image also, you can, uh, such type of profile uh, you can see in a troposphere means a decreasing trend of the temperature with increasing height in troposphere okay to understand it very easily i can say one example for suppose if you are at one fire uh, at a fire source there is one fire happening uh, if you go very near to the fire what happen what happens you can get very more temperature right then if you start moving away from that fire the temperature of uh, temperature which you feeling that might decrease because you are uh, moving away from the source similarly in the same fashion uh, ground starts re radiating okay so the place which is very near to the ground then you can uh, see very high temperatures and the place which is very far from the ground then you can see uh, very less temperatures and this is how the temperature uh, falls uh, de means uh, decreasing from increasing height uh, and decreasing with the increasing height in a troposphere okay and uh, this is a next point uh, aeroplanes and helicopters these are mostly what what can be seen in a troposphere means uh, uh, to heli heli helicopters aeroplanes and uh, parachutes and all these things we can see and what is the temperature range of this troposphere uh, 20 degrees centigrade to minus 60 degrees centigrade okay and the pressure range uh, pressure range is 1000 mb to 200 mb okay and you might ask me why the uh, pressure is decreasing with respect to increasing uh, height because to understand it uh, uh, very easily i can say one example uh, first of all 
this pressure decreasing with increasing height is always depends upon the concentration of the molecules gas molecules present in atmosphere atmosphere is nothing but a mixture of many gases right means combination of many gases so when you have a more gases then automatically you have a higher pressure because all those gases exert some pressure so when you have higher gases then you can have automatically higher pressure so what's happening uh, while going from ground to surface means ground to some height ground to uh, uh, 110 kilometers 30 kilometers 30 kilometers what's happening the concentration of the mole gas molecules in a present in a atmosphere is decreasing then automatically pressure also will get decreased so the pressure decreasing is always related with the density of the gas molecules or gases present in atmosphere okay and another point is to know uh, is a very interesting that's uh, beginners might not know uh, that's uh, unstable condition in middle and lower troposphere this uh, this is completely different I means uh, the uh, i can say you uh, by putting one video about the stability of the atmosphere as a separately and uh, but at this point of time i can i can explain you what is unstable condition in a simple manner uh, uh, this is the condition for suppose if you have uh, one air parcel in atmosphere at one particular point a, either a, if if it is uh, if it is starts moving either in ascending or descending without returning to its actual position original position for suppose if there is one parcel at one particular point it starts either ascending in motion or descending in motion without returning to its original position that type of condition comes under the unstable condition so mostly you can see the lower and middle troposphere why in lower and middle troposphere only you can have uh, higher temperatures so so means uh, from this point what i what i uh, what do i conclude is uh, unstable conditions a uh, condition is always associated with higher temperatures okay so where where you have higher temperatures in uh, three layers of the troposphere lower troposphere only which i to understand it i used it one fire example right uh, lower troposphere you have a higher temperature so in the middle troposphere somewhat better than somewhat uh, somewhat little than uh, lower and upper troposphere very less than both low, middle and the lower troposphere okay this is how the temperature profile you can see in uh, temperature profile in a side image okay this is how unstable condition in uh, middle and lower troposphere we can see and tropophores the name itself says that tropo means uh, if you separate into two terms tropo means troposphere phase means top while uh, listening a music you can see stop option that means stop this so it's what it is saying exactly is uh, it is uh, ending of the troposphere that's why we call it as a tropo fast okay and uh, this tropo fast not continuous throughout the globe okay that does mean uh, because which i just now i told you the height of the troposphere is not uh, same as uh, is not same as uh, everywhere means at a pole the height of the troposphere is only 8 kilo, eight, kilo, 8 kilometers but at equator 16 to 18 kilometers means there are some breaks in a troposphere it is not continuous throughout the globe okay and static stability in this layer what it is static stability per suppose if we have uh, one uh, air parcel at uh, a particular point in atmosphere either for suppose if that parcel starts moving in a ascending manner then it comes then that uh, scenario comes under the unstable similarly it starts in descending manner it starts moving in descending manner that comes under the stable condition for suppose there is one parcel at a particular point in atmosphere right it starts moving in ascending manner that comes under the unstable it starts moving in descending manner that scenario comes under the stable condition means when when the air parcel has to uh, be either unstable and stable condition from what a particular point that type of scenario can center the static stability and that type of uh, uh, condition you can see in a tropo phase and the tropo phase height is depends on the strong convective event what are strong convective events strong convective events means just like a thunderstorm cyclones tornadoes all this so whatever phenomena which are taking place in atmosphere associated with 
convection those all comes under the strong convective events okay so as we know what convection is this uh, convection is nothing but the transfer of heat from one place to another place by the movement of molecules in a fluid right so this is all about the troposphere and vertical structure of the atmosphere see you guys in a second video of the vertical structure of the atmosphere uh, i hope you enjoy this class and if it is really useful to you you just share this information to your friends thank you